Chemist and this year I will be taking your science of the biology part. Okay, uh, so let's start with the first chapter of your science study book that is sources of food. So before going into the details of the chapter, I will tell you some of the brief ideas about what we are going to learn in this chapter. So basically in this chapter, you will be learning about, in this chapter, you will, please be ready with a copy and a pen and do take this, do write it down in your copy, okay? So you will learn about, first, food and its importance. The things which we eat, that is the khana, जो हम लोग हर रोज घर पे खाते हैं, उस खाने को हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं? Food. And uh, what is the importance of food, children? I guess you know already uh, from your previous classes, food is important because it gives us energy. It gives us energy to do what? To do work. And it also helps in the growth and the development of each and every individual. Uh, the second point which you will learn in this chapter is variety of food and ingredients. Now children, what is variety of food? Basically, variety of food means the different types of food which is available in the nature or in the market or in different parts of a particular country or a particular area. And what are ingredients? Ingredients are basically the things by which we prepare the food. And the third topic which you will learn under this topic are where, from where the food is coming. That is, food is definitely coming from somewhere, right? Either it is coming from plants or it is coming from animals. For example, milk. Now, milk is coming from plant or animal? Huh? It is coming from animal. Like goat or cow, camel also, sometimes camel milk also we drink. Okay, so the fourth topic which we will be learning in this chapter is the types of animals, the types of animals based on their food habits. Their food habits. So what do we mean by this particular fourth point that the types of animals based on their food habits? It means that, you know, the animals are also divided into certain categories based on the type of food they eat. Such as there are some animals which eat only plants. There are a, another set of animals which eat only, you know, animals or non which kind of things. And there are some plants which eat both, you know. There are some animals which eat both. Animals as well as plants. So there are ty different types of animals based on your food habits. And the fifth topic we are going to learn here is decomposers. What? Decomposers. Do you know what is decomposers? Decomposers are basically certain fungi, okay? Fungi or bacteria which decompose the food into further smaller particles. Um, okay, before going into the details of the chapter, I would also like to tell you that please do give a reading, a thorough reading about the first two pages of your book that is page number 7 and page number 8 and do let me know in the next Zoom class and in the, second, in the next video we will study about the first two topics in detail. Hope you like the video. Thank you. That's all for today.